Rationality explores the use of apparel and the act of adornment to explore identity. Whether presented ironically, as seen in the works of Kent Monkman, which is just on the other side of this wall, and Laurie Blondeau, deconstructed by Barbara Pratt and Kathy Daly, or offered as an alternative to mainstream fashion, as envisioned by Natalie Pershvitz and Nicole Dextrous, the ways in which artists use dress and undress contribute to an understanding of what it means to be woven into Canada's national fabric. I'm Farheen Hack, and I'm a visual artist from Victoria, British Columbia. And the piece that you can see behind me is called Endless Tether. And I have another piece in the show called Uncovering. And in my art practice, I uh, work with fabric quite a bit. And you'll see in this work behind me that I am wrapping my torso up uh, in this long extended piece of fabric and, uh, and then being uncovered. There's uh, many variations. There's little vignettes, I like to call them in this piece. And uh, what I'm interested in um, with fabric potential, um, specifically is that it becomes a metaphor for me. It's a very potent symbol of um, the way many codes are layered and wrapped around women's bodies specifically. Within my art practice, I deconstruct my Muslim heritage. Growing up as a Muslim Canadian woman, I had lots of um, rules and regulations sanctioned upon my body. And so in my art making, I make sense of those and I deconstruct a lot of the a lot of the codes and sort of social mores that were placed upon me. And it's in my art making that I find uh, there's a place, uh, a potential for me to actually stretch or pull apart the threads of the codes that bind me. And hence the name of the piece, Endless Tether. I don't know if I'll ever actually be able to be free of um, the structures that have made me who I am, but I think art and the imagination is a place where we can push those and create new places of freedom for ourselves. My name is Barb Hunt and I'm the artist that created this piece. It's called The Root Dress and it's made out of steel which I cut by hand with a plasma art cutter very uh, complex piece of machinery with very hot flame that cuts out quite accurately. And I did this series of work to show the strength of women, that sometimes we may seem soft on the outside, but we're like steel inside, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I, my father was an agricultural economist, and so I'm, I think that heritage and that history of farmers made me think about what goes on under the earth. So this is the root, and I learned that roots, when they hit a stone in the soil, they don't stop, they don't try to break the stone, they grow around it. So I love that metaphor. The dress is also related, of course, to women, and I'm interested in women and women in the domestic environment. So this is related to the apron series that I uh, collected. I call them see-through aprons. They're transparent aprons that housewives wore back in the 1950s to kind of dress up their clothes. And I made some of my own to look like 1950s aprons, but they're a little bit subversive. They have some unusual imagery in them. So the challenge is, is to look at the aprons, figure out which ones are really from the 1950s, and which ones I made that have a little bit of subversive ideas in them. I also have done some work about war. I'm very much against war, so I express that through my art. And I have two pieces here. One is a wreath that is made out of fabric from a uniform from the Congo, and it's in memory of women and children who have been hurt by war and damaged by war. I'm Barbara Pratt, a painter from St. John's, Newfoundland. My work is heavily influenced by fashion photography, as found in magazines. These particular images reflect a sort of an interaction between 
uh, somebody looking at a fashion magazine and the models that they find in the magazine. They're looking at fashion magazines and they're saying, oh my god, she needs to, to gain some weight. Or, oh my god, she's so skinny. Or, who would wear that? Or, she is so beautiful, I wish I looked like that. I wish I could own that. And that's the kind of discussion that real people have with fashion. The rest of my work, um, no heads in my other work, in my larger work, there are no heads. And that is primarily because I, um, I'm not talking about the individual here, I'm talking about fashion as it relates to what we say about ourselves. All of these people could be anybody. In reality, if, if you saw who these people were, you'd, you'd recognize them. They're famous models. But I'm not painting them. I'm painting, their, I'm painting a female body with beautiful clothing. When you look at them, you don't get distracted by the face. You don't get distracted by the individual, because it could be anybody. Um, the clothes are beautiful. And in themselves, they're they're worthy of discussion. <laughs>